Alright, now that we uh, know what inverses are, we've drawn inverses, we need to show that two functions are inverses of each other. We sort of did this before um, in previous work, but especially because these are kind of complex, um, uh, they're going to end up being complex rational um, expressions, so I thought that it might be a good idea to go over it just so that we can refresh on that. So we're going to prove that these things are inverses or verify by doing the composition function. First things first, we're going to do f composed of g of x. Now we've done this before. In this case, the g function is 3x plus 5 over 1 minus 2x. So now this notation tells us that we're going to be evaluating the f function for this new variable. Well our f function says, is right here, they've already identified it for us, it says take the variable, subtract 5 over 2 times the variable plus 3. But we're using 3x plus 5 over 1 minus 2x as our variable. So I'm going to fill that in and I'm going to use color so you can see um, exactly what I'm doing each step of the way. Now this is a complex rational. So it's very complicated looking. So in order to uh, simplify this we need to multiply every term by the common denominator. And in this case our common denominator is going to be 1 minus 2x. So I'm going to show that I'm multiplying every single term by that 1 minus 2x. Now in doing so, for our first term, we have our 1 minus 2x's cancel, and we have on top there 3x plus 5. For the second term in the numerator, we're going to have to distribute out our 5, so that would be minus 5 plus 10x. Now on bottom, uh, we have a 1 minus 2x that we're multiplying by and a 1 minus 2x we're dividing by, so those cancel. I mean, we do have to distribute our 2, so that's going to be 6x plus 10. And then for the second term, again, we have to distribute, so that would be plus 3 minus 6x. Now at least we've cleaned up all of our fractions and we're able to start simplifying. So in the numerator, our 5's cancel and we have 13x. And in the denominator, our 6x's cancel and we have 13. Well, 13x over 13 actually simplifies to just x. We have done the first composition. Now we need to go back and we need to do the second one just to prove. You absolutely have to go through both ways. Sometimes it could work one way but not the other, so you have to be careful for that. So I'm doing the g of f of x. Well, f of x, remember, was x minus 5 over 2x plus 3. So now this notation tells me to take that g function. Here's my g function that says 3 times the variable plus 5 over 1 minus 2 times the variable. But this time we're using x minus 5 over 2x plus 3. So I'm going to fill that in. Now here again this gives us a complex rational expression. So in order to simplify we need to multiply through by the common denominator which in this case is 2x plus 3. So I'm multiplying every single term doing that in blue so you can see that there is a difference there. Uh, 2x plus 3, about to run out of room there. In my first term the 2x plus 3's cancel and we are left with that distribution, 3x minus 15. Over here again we have to distribute, so that would be plus 10x plus 15. On bottom, here we have 2x plus 3 times 1 is 2x plus 3. For the second term, our denominator cancels, and when we distribute we get minus 2x plus 10. Now we need to clean this up and this will turn out to be x. 13x over 13 which is x.